Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. In this edition of Travels with Phil, we're going to the movies and into space. I'll be giving you a look at the movie Stowaway, which premiered on Netflix in April 2021. Stowaway is a sci-fi story of a modern-day flight to Mars where an unplanned passenger is discovered on board the spacecraft Kingfisher. How will the crew deal with this? And more importantly, are there enough supplies on board for everybody? The movie stars Anna Kendrick as Zoe Levinson, Daniel Day Kim as David Kim, Shamir Anderson as Michael Adams, and Tony Collette as Mission Commander Marina Barrett. Let's take a look at the trailer. Hey, sit down! Did we take No, hey, sit down. Did we take off? Sit down or you're gonna pass out. Commander! Take off! Commander! Take off! Take off. Michael, I'm Zoe. I'm a doctor. I want you to focus on slowing down your breathing. Into your nose, out through your mouth. Hi, Michael. I'm Marina Bunnett, the commander of the ship. Do you remember what happened on the pad? I'm a launch support engineer, ma'am. How long was I out? We took off about 12 hours ago. 12 hours? I need to get back to my no. sister, please. My sister, she's alone. Please, Michael, I gotta get back. We're not going back. What do you mean we're not going back? This is a two-year mission. Two years is a long time to be away, but this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I can learn fast. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We are taking the first steps to being able to call Mars a second home. There's no easy way to say this. Life support is damaged permanently. We only have enough oxygen board for three people. Everyone on board will suffocate before we ever make it to Mars. I gotta face the fact that I'm not gonna be there with you. This research is years of our lives. Are we sure we want to throw it all away? How much time do we have before it's too late? 20 days. I think we should put ourselves at risk. For their sanity, they need to try this. This is hopeless. That is it. There's no way for all of us to survive. It's imperative that we try. The basic plot of Stowaway is not new. It can easily be traced back to The Cold Equations, a sci-fi short story by American writer Tom Godwin, first published in Astounding Magazine in August 1954. And there are numerous other similar stories, including many survival stories set here on Earth. Stowaway is also a variation of the ethics class debate called the trolley problem, where students have to decide which is better, to do nothing, which will result in someone's death, or to intervene in order to reduce the number of deaths. Exactly how much time do we have before it's too late? Technically, 20 days. Okay, then we should take that time. No, we need as much of that margin of error as possible in case anything else happens. Margin of error? What hypothetical situation could be worse than the one we're in right now? Worst case scenario is he still dies, but we die along with him. How? What's left of the algae is hanging on by a thread as it is. So you're fine just giving up on a person oh, so because we, the so risk? Realistically, every day he's still here, it's a danger to all of us. I am telling you, Hyperion has anyone with a PhD down there trying to work this out. And they're not here. And maybe we can think of something that they haven't. As you can see, while there is some action, this is more of a philosophical dilemma than a laser-blasting saga between good and evil. And there's also some humor to go along with the drama. We're sorry that you missed the filet mignon, but this is the next best thing. We think it's spaghetti. I should warn you now that Zoe thinks she's the in-flight entertainment. <laughs> As with most sci-fi stories, you have to buy the concept in order to get along with the story. The possibility of someone stowing away on a spacecraft as it is done in this movie strained credulity for me. But if you can get past that, the story offers some interesting interplay between the characters and how they do try to solve their problem. Only three occupants on a ship to Mars seems a bit sparse for such a long trip, but it is presented as part of an ongoing series of flights to resupply the colony on Mars where flights have become common, so maybe so in the not-too-distant future. 
and I do have some problems with the science behind some of the story, but it's okay if you're just looking for some entertainment. They deal nicely with providing some gravity for the crew, as well as making it much easier to film. And the special effects and designs are quite convincing and good. The music is also very well done. What does this thing do? It scrubs the carbon dioxide out of the air. I take that. Here we go. Careful with that. Very, very careful. I will never get used to how little material is between us and space. Bad, I know. When they started adding a third passenger to make up for the weight, they made the functional module almost half the size and removed a protective layer of shielding. Hey, that's not helpful. The movie has received some reasonably good reviews from the professional critics, and the reviews have been all over the map from the general public, some folks loving it, other folks not liking it at all. I have mixed feelings about Stowaway. As a former NASA worker, some of the science stuff was hard to ignore, but I thought the acting was good for what they did do. I did have a couple of moments where I asked, you know, why don't they just, you know, do this in order to solve their problems? But hey, if they could easily solve all their problems, the movie would have only been, you know, maybe 20 minutes long. Overall, I give Stowaway more positives than negatives. If you're looking for some diversion with good production values, you might enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.